only probably 30 or 40 feet from my friend and he you know uh, when I realized that I was moving and it's a, a wind slab so it's kind of different than the uh, you know the types of avalanches you see in the movies it was it's just like a basically a big steep dinner plate that kind of all started breaking up at the same time and so he was just flying off of debris had to point his skis straight down the slope to try and outrun it but it was just too big and he wasn't near the margin of the of the slide and ended up uh, just disappearing and the only thing I could think to do was uh, was to swim so I don't know whether that uh, helped me at all or whether it was just pure luck but I ended up kind of resurfacing and I got snagged up in a tree and where he ended up uh, had he gone you know, another 40 meters or so, he would have been where two slide paths join and buried under a lot of debris, four, maybe four or five meters of debris. So that little tree saved his life. I was buried about to my waist, maybe a little bit more on the back. The snow was piled up behind me. Uh, my friend um, immediately put his uh, transceiver in search mode and came down looking for me. I heard a yell. And I, I couldn't believe it. Just seeing what he had just gone down, I thought, I, I didn't think he was gonna survive it. Came down and immediately dug out my legs and, and uh, got my backpack off my back and uh, kind of made a comfortable place for me to sit. Put a warm jacket on him, put another jacket over his legs, got out his stove and uh, you know, water and food. Just seeing what he had gone through, I, I knew that there was, had to have been severe trauma just based on the kind of terrain, you know, small trees and that, that uh, usually kill a person or tear them apart. So uh, I knew I had to get help and I knew that a helicopter had to come from a ways away. And I still had to ski at least an hour down Portal Creek to the trailhead. So I, I skied along with my phone in my hand trying to, to get a bar and finally I did. And I called uh, Jasper Dispatch, I dropped the call a few times. I kept on skiing lower down until I finally got a hold of them and then uh, managed to, you know, get the rescue going, I guess. When I heard the, the helicopter, it was definitely, a, like, it relaxed me a little more, knowing, you know, I did kind of have it in my head that if I spent the night there, I wouldn't have gone well.